Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes Gaming, back at you once again with another video. And oh my gosh, it's cold today because as you can see, it's snowing everywhere. It is Boxing Day and we've got a London derby for you guys up against Chelsea today on episode 2. Hello guys, welcome to episode 2 of my West Ham FM19 beta save. Hope you're all good. Today we've got a massive game. It's 4th against 5th on Boxing Day in a London derby. Does it get any better than that? This should be a very, very good episode. A very, very good game as well. And I hope you are all good. And like I say, I am awesome. Because look at them results. Look at them. Beautiful. No red dots since you was last with me. Which was for this game here against Crystal Palace. We won that one right at the death. And then followed that on with a 3-1 win against Cardiff. And then an absolutely mental back and forth game against Everton. We won it 5-3. Zabaleta got himself sent off for some reason. Right at the end. No idea what he was doing. But then, since then, look at that. We have gone 1, 2, 3, 4 Premier League games without conceding. How is that possible as West Ham? I don't know. But that all started off with a 3-0 win away at Huddersfield. Anderson with a goal. We'll see it with one. And another own goal helping us get a win. So that's very nice. And then we went and demolished Fulham 4-0. Anderson with a couple. Kasper Dolberg with, with one just before half-time. We'll see it just the other side of the break. Very, very nice result that. And Leicester, nil-nil. Says it all, really. Bit of a boring game. I tried to set up a bit more defensively. Well, not really defensively, but I just tried to bring the defensive line deeper. Just to counteract Vardy. And it worked, but it didn't really give us anything going forward. So that finished nil-nil. And then Wickham in the quarter-final of the Carabao Cup was a lot more difficult than what I thought it was going to be. But we was able to escape from that with the win. And so we are now in the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup against Arsenal, which will more than likely be the next video. I'll try and squeeze both games into one video. And then the, late, the latest game was against Watford, another nil-nil. Not really too much going on going forward. They didn't really threaten us too much. And so that will lead us to where we are today against Chelsea, fourth versus fifth. And if we win, we go above Chelsea. So that would be amazing to finish Boxing Day in the Champions League places. That would be quite incredible. Now, if we just have a look at the tactics. And as you can see, we have got a couple of injuries. Carlos Sanchez is out for somewhere between two to three months. But he's not exactly first choice anyway. So Mark Noble is going to come back in for him as I'm just moving the camera about for no real reason. And yeah, and Arnautovic as well is out for a couple of weeks, which at this time of year is very much far from ideal. And so unfortunately, we are going to be having to do without him. And Felipe Anderson is injured as well. And so, yeah, he's out for a similar amount of time as Arnautovic. I think both of them just wanted Christmas off, if I'm going to be quite honest. But Lanzini is getting back to fitness. He's going to be back in full training in five days at last. My man crush will be coming back. So he'll be back just after New Year. But who on earth am I going to play instead of Arnautovic? I really don't have a clue. I don't want it to be Lucas. It can't even be Moses because he's injured. We are in a little bit of an injury crisis at the minute. You know what? It's going to have to be Zadas. It's going to have to be Zadas. How disappointing is that? I know he's a wonder kid, but he's not quite the best for that position just yet. I'm going to put him on as a winger on attack, just to see what he can do. And as for getting Arnautovic off, who can I bring him on for or off for on the bench? I'm going to say Masuaku. Actually, Masuaku. What would he be like up there? It says he's red, but he's got decent crossing. Decent dribbling, decent acceleration, decent pace. I'm going to take a gamble. I'm going to take a gamble on Masuaku up there. 
And yeah, so Chicharito switching there with Yarmolenko. And Wilshere instead of Obiang. Although Obiang is on a 7.28 for his last few games. Oh, but then Wilshere is on a 7.84. So, yeah, it's going to be Wilshere. And anybody else who I can think to bring on? Uh, Balbuena, you know, he's on a 6.4. That's something else I've got to mention. Rhys Oxford, I've brought him into the first team squad. And my gosh, could he be any different than what he is in real life? He is a training machine. He's getting 10s or 9.5s every single week. So I've had no choice but to put him in the team. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he is a training machine. He has earned his way into the team. So we have got two players coming through the West Ham Academy in our defence. We've got another one in midfield. This is a very, very much old school West Ham team with players coming through the academy. And I think that is how I'm going to set us up for today. So it's going to be the 5-4-1. Fabianski, Diop, Rice, Oxford in, in defence. Cresswell on the left, Sabaleta on the right, Noble and Wilshere in the middle, Masuaku and Antonio on the wings, and Kasper Dolberg up front. So can we please get a win today against Chelsea? That would be very, very awesome. Oh, OK. So Chelsea going with the old cheat tactic. Going to make things a little bit more difficult. They're going for the 3-4-3. Giroud, William Jose and Morata up top. And then Hazard on the left. Oh, this could be difficult. Please don't let them thrash us. And so I'm going to go passionately. The media give you a lot of credit lately. And that's got a few of them motivated. That's very good to see. And then go, I have faith in you. And I have faith in you again. And everyone seems pretty much motivated so let's go into the tunnel and see what questions we got. Both teams come into this one in good form. They're a very good team. We're going to relish the challenge of keeping our good form going. And yep, yeah, I love Derby Day. And here we go. It's us with a kickoff. Dolberg to Noble to Wilshire. Forward to Dolberg again. And he plays it wide to Zabaleta, who's not quick enough to get to that. And Hazard's in space early doors. Oh no. Hazard's beating everyone, goes wide to Zappa Costa. Zappa Costa on their right hand side crosses it in, and Fabianski thankfully clears that up. Chelsea again, straight away coming forward again, and Giroud is, is through. He shoots an all off the bar. Oh, oh, my days. Oh, my days. This is not going to be good, is it, people? Chelsea again coming forward, just three and a half minutes on the clock. Zappa Costa with the cross, finds Hazard. Hazard's in the box. Can we force him out and get the ball back? No, we can't. And Chelsea have the lead. Oh. Alvaro Morata giving Chelsea the lead with his seventh goal of this season. Let's have another look at this on the replay. Zappa Costa crossed it. Hazard in way too much space. I thought we'd got it back there, but apparently not. And then Morata... Trying to tackle the ball into the back of the net, and he does. Now, 12 minutes gone. It's Hazard to Kovacic. To Hazard. He's cutting inside. He's been given way too much freedom, and they've hit the bar again. Oh, my days. Oh, Masuaku clearing the ball long, but only to another Chelsea man. Oh, my God, days. It's just highlight after highlight for Chelsea here. Zappa Costa with it. Crosses the ball in. Giroud with a head on, it's two. Oh, my days. You know, at this point, I'm going to go balanced. I should have gone balanced at first. And I'm going to go demand more. Because this is quite awful. Zappa Costa again. Just seeing this on the replay. He gets the cross in, which causes us all kinds of problems. And Giroud with a head up. And, well, our run of not conceding goals... Has been obliterated rather quickly. And now we are looking fired up apparently. After I give them the salt of demanding more. But still not doing a whole lot. We don't seem to be able to keep hold of the ball at all. After this highlight I am going to make some tactical changes. Sapa Costa again. He's cutting inside. 
And he gets it to Hazard, who shoots and just wide. Okay, guys, so these are the changes I'm making. We're going extremely wide. We've got much more direct passing. And I'm going for, in defence, higher defensive line, much higher line of engagement. And pressing intensity, much more urgent. And let's see if that can do anything to get us back into this game. Almost half an hour gone. Fabianski with a goal kick. Forward to Zabalata, to Wilshere, to Masuaku. Masuaku's in the box, he shoots and it's saved. That was better. That was much, much better. Now what can we do from the corner? Noble whips it in. Doesn't go to anybody. I'm taking him off corners. He was awful in the last video with him. And so I'm going to start taking him off him. Now Declan Rice with a very nice tackle there, winning the ball back. And now it's Kepa with the ball to Azpil Koeta. He goes long. And can we win it back? Yes, we can. Masuaku with it. And can he find Dolberg or a teammate? What can he do? Masuaku loses it out there, but Noble picks it up. And surely he's going to go wide. He does. It goes to Antonio. Antonio with it to Zabaleta. Back to Antonio. He crosses it in, but it goes to nobody. But we are still on the attack. Noble to Cresswell. And Cresswell with the ball to Dolberg. To Antonio. Oh, my gosh. Why, Antonio? How did he miss that? Okay, that's half time. A very, very disappointing first half from our point of view. Just look at them stats. They tell you everything you need to know. 18 shots to our 8. 5 on target to our 4. 57% of the ball to our 43. Yeah, very, very poor. And I'm going to have a look, see what I can do. Declan Rice is having a very poor game. He's on a 6. But do I want to risk taking him off? Yes, I do. I don't want us to go too much further behind. So Winston Reid coming on for Declan Rice. That's going to be the only change thus far. And I'm going to go aggressive. Show me something else in the second half. And yet most of them are motivated. So I'm going to stick with that. And I'm going to go... No, what I'm going to go back to being a little bit more attacking. Just so we can try and get something out of this. So let's go start the second half. Here we go. First highlight of the second half. It's us with the ball, but we give it away immediately, but get it back again. Cresswell playing a nice long ball to Antonio. Antonio running at their defence, and that hits Dolberg and goes to Kante. And now it's Morata. Morata with the ball. Then he's running at us, and Reed. Oh, I thought Reed got himself sent off then. Giroud with a shot, and oh. Oh, my days. This could be anything now. As Chelsea have changed from the cheap formation. They've gone to a 4 3 one, two. And now it's Morata with the ball. Reed tried to win it back but didn't. Hazard to Giroud and he just lashes it into the top corner. Well, okay guys. 20 minutes left. I've made my last two changes of the game. Antonio has gone off for Obiang. And I've taken Masuaku off for Chicharito. And we're going... With two up top, just for the last 20 minutes, just to go down swinging and just hope we can get one goal. That would be quite nice. Here we are, 15 minutes left. Fabregas to Giroud, and that's four. Ah, oh, disappointing. We have been in phenomenal form, but then this game, we have just not got anything right at all. Fabregas with the corner. Giroud flicks it on and then Christensen right on the line. Prods it home. And now final highlight you would think of the game. It's Morata with the ball to Pedro. And Pedro back out wide to Morata. Morata crossing the ball in and that goes out for a corner. Please don't make it five. Please don't make it five. And they haven't got time. Thank God for that. That is the end of the game. A very, very disappointing boxing day there, people. Ah, oh, my days. So, as you can see, we lost 4-0. 27 shots to our 14. 12 on shots on target to our 6. 
57 percent of the ball to our 43 so i'm just going to do the team talk and then i'm going to leave it there going to go assertive i'm far from pleased with what i just saw and yep they're all motivated they're all fired up so hopefully we will be able to play better in the next game and that is where i'm going to leave it for now lads uh, the next video is going to be the Arsenal double header in the Carabao Cup semi final. Might be a bit of a longer one, but I'm going to squeeze them two into the one video. And so, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a massive thumbs up down below. Please, I need some pity likes after that result. So, please give me all the pity likes you've got. Subscribe to the channel for more FM19 content. I'm going to be doing Met Police FC once the main game and the lower league databases have been released. And I'm also doing Pro Evo 2019 videos, Barcelona Classic League and West Ham Master League. And I'm doing a WWE 2K19 My Career Mode series. So subscribe for all that good stuff. Hit the little bell button down below so you get notified whenever I do upload a video. And follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming for all the news on the channel. And yeah, just one thing left to say, I am Bad Jokes Gaming and I'm out.